All right, so this is kind of like a quick update uh, here. Basically, um, I don't know, I've been uploading kind of a lot of videos because, I don't know, I was like suspended and I was kind of pissed and all this stuff is happening with the ISS being taken down and you know, I'm putting up a lot of feeds on that, a lot of feeds on the embedded commands. I plan on doing, um, finishing that embedded commands video. I was only halfway done. The only reason why I stopped was because the, the editor doesn't allow you to do more than a certain amount of cuts. So it was, I just had to, you know, do it do the video right there and uh but right now i have uh i'm watching matrix on my tv and i watch like the f i don't know first three minutes and there was like so much coding in it it was ridiculous so i might add a little bit of that to this video but i wanted to talk about something quick um that i just thought was kind of crazy mm -hmm. Uh, cause it's been pissing me off and then I, I thought about it as it, as it's part in the, in the matrix and how it makes sense, um, with upcoming events happening that are going to happen. Um, I don't know if you guys have been finding this, but I try not to go to fast food for obvious reasons or, you know, drive through lines. But have you guys been noticing, and this can't, it might just, might not just be the food industry, but uh, I realized that a lot of these places, a lot of these franchises that receive orders from the top, or some of the franchises do stuff on their own accord based on region. But I've noticed um, a lot of companies, Dunkin' Donuts and, and a few other ones, it's like they have this whole speech um right when you go to the line like hi i'm this uh do you want uh would you like to try this it's like whatever whatever they want to push they they do a little sales pitch right at the beginning and uh it's just getting really bossy and i've noticed kind of like an increase in like it used to be the customer was always right you know and i don't Sometimes the customer is wrong, obviously, but you kind of just got to treat them, treat them with respect because they are the person going to your store. But I've seen like a decline with, they're just like so bossy. Like even when you are going to buy something, it's just like incredibly bossy. Yeah, they're slowly making changes and you'll barely notice them over time. And like an example of this would be if you had like a pet dog and uh, you just got it from puppy and it's starting to grow, uh, you might, I mean, it, the dog definitely grows fast, but you might not see it grow as much, especially if you're with it all the, all the time when it's in those stages. So, to you, the dog is if it is as if it never grew. It might, you know, because the size increase was incremental. To a person that doesn't see the dog and maybe only saw the dog in four days, only four days lapse or even less or more, like five or six. That's enough to see like a noticeable change if the dog's at like a peak, peak growth period. Now the owner of the dog won't notice it, but people, like I said, who haven't seen it will notice it. It's like a simple, simple concept that everybody can relate to. Everybody understands that. Um, now you got to look at the societal lockdown that's been taking place over the last few years after after certain events and you got to think that these incremental changes that they're doing over the course of time 
are going unnoticed by people. And I definitely think it's happening. But I just see because I had sort of like a, in a bopping in and out of the media um, from just having different different interests over the years and getting interested in that and really like focusing in on it and then like getting out of it but for a while i was i mean i told i already mentioned that i don't really didn't really watch much tv when i was growing up i mean don't get me wrong i was watching shows but it wasn't we didn't have cable i didn't have cable and i wasn't watching um trashy garbage shows that really had no i don't know no real core to them they were just trash like mtv started to coming out with a lot of their reality based shows and that's just a that's a perfect example of incrementalism right there like they started off small survivor mtv road rules all those ones and it was like cool because it was the first time we saw supposedly real life people and then i think over the years discovery channel all these other ones they did shows about jobs and it was just this kind of calculated process over the years of uh changing how we perceived media but getting back to you know the dunkin donuts uh staff people kind of like getting rude not rude but they just are so bossy like would you like to do try this and it just to me i just feel like uh they should they shouldn't be pitching all these things like it doesn't even make sense from the standpoint of like trying to serve customers at a fast rate um like their lines i don't know if they do it because their lines they're trying to gain time and they just like all right do like come out with a little thing to hit them with but it's just it's getting it's just getting annoying to me and i usually try not to go to a fast food thing but it's usually that get a coffee and it's just like they hit you with this thing so let me know if that's something that's going on with you in your area it could just be my franchise but i feel like it's happening with a lot of different things and how that plays in into part with this like behavioral thing like it used to be they f you f were fed into the customer and they tried to push things along and i just thought i feel like customer service is going downhill and in a in a steady in de decline and uh people don't notice it but you know like i said coming to and fro and not being there and watching it all the time it's like are you serious why am i getting bullied to add add more stuff to my list try their new thing like try this try that no i'm i'm coming here i'm telling you what i want stop messing up my order as i have it in my head coming to your window it's just absurd but it's just so that we we um it's just uh it's sickening there's there's so many layers to why they do it obviously it's for more sales at their company but that's just one one uh motive there's so much intent behind it because i really think it causes disruption within the the assembly line of the thing but it's and it but they still persist on doing it at a lot of different places would you like this it doesn't even matter like where you are it's just like trying to break you with words uh and i just think it's a preparation for the police state and all the stuff that's about to be moved in and and just on a subliminal level all the stuff they're pushing out there and you know the fact that the elections are rigged like they're telling you that the election's rigged and uh i mean they're they're making it seem like it's a leak and you can believe the situation however you want i don't really care but regardless of the situation the message is clear just like look at what is being said the election was rigged who cares if it was an, a real leak or it was like a stage leak just the words were said to the public um elections are rigged so 
you know, I don't know what to say. People just wake up. Don't spend any time with the little circus they have on the TV. If they, if they've told you already that this cir- it's a circus, I mean, maybe come up with a candidate in your head, but they're just going to sway you back and forth. Your vote really doesn't matter. They are going to appoint one. Take this time to like, I don't know, research, research like your world. I don't know. Come to, come to a conclusion on why, why the people aren't represented, why we have shitty, shitty candidates year after year, why it seems more like a bloodline appoint, appointed uh, rulership in our country for the United States than it does uh, democracy and uh, a representation of what the people want. Most people want like wages and all this other crap, more privacy. Um, but there's like a hidden hand that's kind of directing everything in a new direction.